excuse me, you're not supposed to be out there, you know. Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Planet Zoo and Pine Brook Sanctuary. I hope you're all doing well. So sorry for missing an upload. I did put out a notification on the community channel just to say that life had just kind of got in the way. It's quite a busy time at work in the real world and everything just kind of all happens at once, don't you find? And then I ended up getting COVID. So <laughs> that's always positive, isn't it? So my apologies if my voice sounds a little bit funny or it goes a bit croaky every now and then. It's just because I'm just recovering from COVID. So we're doing quite well for our research at the moment, which is really good. So I haven't even opened up this game since the last episode that you all saw. So I'm not entirely sure if I can remember where we got to or what we are doing with our babies, but I'll, I'll have a little look at that because um, you, you, you all would have already seen it in the last episode. So I won't um, bore you with that again. <laughs> the Bonobo is just about to have another baby. Um, so what I did want to have a look at is putting in some animals into our little exhibits over here next to the restaurants. Um, we've had a few suggestions um, for the giant centipedes and maybe maybe some snakes because we don't actually have any of those at the moment and maybe, maybe a few spiders. Um, but let's have a look at the restaurant actually because we put this in and then I just never went back to it. So let's have a look and see if there's actually anybody sitting in here. Oh yeah, there's a few people. One little family here eating some pizza and chips and burgers. Anybody else? Oh yeah, some more around here doing the same thing. They're not, not too bad. Oh, someone's outside making the most of the sunny weather. That's nice. Yes, yeah, so we have lots of tables. There's not that many people at the moment. Once we get a few more animals up this way, they might come over and sit down and have a meal in our restaurant. Oh look, here's some more customers. So these guys really need the toilet, but there is a toilet over here, if I remember rightly. Yes, here. So, let's have a little look then. Let's see about some exhibits. So we've got one there, one there, and one there, and one there. So we've got four to fill. So maybe, maybe we have giant centipede, two snakes, and one spider, perhaps? Okay, so the giant centipede at the moment, we only have two females. So this one is the youngest and definitely does have the better genes. So we're going to get this one. We're just going to have to hang around and see if there's a male that becomes available eventually. Snake wise, let's get a boa constrictor. There's a male here, so we can definitely get that one. And we'll get this one as well. So I think we can have two, one male and one female. Maybe a puff adder as well. I mean, I don't really, I don't really like snakes, but is that, Snake a cool snake? I don't know. <laughs> Let's get this one anyway. Okay, there's a male and a female in the Goliath Bird Eater. Now, I'm hoping that's just a name and they don't actually eat birds. Let's get this one. And this one. Okay, so I've just gone ahead and put in the exhibits. Still no male giant centipede. But let's go ahead and put them in. We're going to have a puff adder in there. We will have the Goliath bird eater <laughs> in that one. We we'll have the boa constrictor in there and then the centipede in here. So let's click on here, get the education points set up. There. And this one in here and this one in here. Then we just need to go back through, make sure that they are all set up correctly. Okay, so this one is 50 and 84, so I think I might do 64, and this one is perfectly fine to be where it is. Let's do a layout. Oh, okay, so we haven't researched this one, so that's fine, we can research that. Okay, so we've actually done some research on these ones already, so we can put all these in. So we just have some lamps, or basking lamps and camouflage on the ground and a large rock okay so the humidity is between 60 and 80 so let's put that up to 70 there you are so that should work and everything else is fine looking good let's also put on the windows okay so we're going to want these three i believe okay so we've put the windows on this one as well 
Right, let's scoot on over to the bow, the bower constrictor. Okay, let's do the humidity. This is between 60 and 80, I think, yeah. So we're gonna do 70 again. And let's see, window-wise, looking good. Have we got any layouts? Oh yes, we do. So we have some tropical plants. We have some logs and branches. And we have some basking lamps, so that will make them very, very happy. And the little centipede is the last one. Actually, I say little, it quite clearly says giant. So the humidity range for this one is between 50 and 84, so I'm going to put this up to 64. And we're going to do our 3D facade. Oops, not on that one. Done. Right, layouts. Here we are. So we have some logs, we have some branches, and we have some particles of rock. So no, still no mouths. And what we need to do is go over to our research and actually research our animals. Oh yeah, work zones. What we need to do. The game is shouting at me saying you we cannot access anything. So let's do keepers. One, two, three, four. The lemur has escaped. Where? Excuse me, you're not supposed to be out there, you know. Oh, it's right, he's back. All oh, our red pandas have grown up. Now we do have an elderly mother here. Oh no, hold on. Pippa is about to inbreed. Why? Oh no, Frankie is the brother of Pippa and Poppet. Oh no, so we're going to have to get a new black and white rough lemur. Oh no, are they from the same, same zoo? Oh yeah, they are. Oh no. Okay, right, that's fine. Let's quickly release this one to the wild then. Let's go back into our animal trading and grab a new black and white rough lemur. Okay, let's grab this one. Hopefully, this one's going to be okay and they're not going to be related in any kind of way. So let's send this one to the zoo. And the quarantine area, we don't actually have one close over here, have we? No. Okay, right, this one can go in here. Right, hopefully, that will help that situation. Okay, so our bonobo, no, it's not a bonobo. Oh my goodness me. Our lemur has now passed quarantine, so we can pop this one in here. And we are going to rename him. There we are. So that is D4 Dad. So we have lots of baby bonobos by the looks of it. Look at these. They're so cute. Also, I don't know whether or not I've told you this before, but if you put out a donation bin at the exit of your rides, chances are you might get a few donations because the guests really like it. So it just brings in a little bit of extra money. Okay, what I might do is I'm just going to put one there and I'm going to put one there. There you are, just place a little bit of a cover over it. So hopefully that should bring in some more guests up this area. What I am going to do today is try and put in the D-holes, I think. So the D-holes are going to go over in this area. So this could be a nice big area for them just over here. So the guests get on the ride can have a nice little look as well. So I'm thinking D holes here and then we've got the, maybe the Bengal tiger and then the Siberian tiger over here. Then we've got the gorilla over here and then the Indian elephant, tapir and the proboscis monkey over in this section here. If you guys do want another season of Planet Zoo, let me know. But I'm thinking maybe I create a zoo, but you all decide what it is that you want to put in. Um, so you've got to leave comments and everything like that. And I'll make a list of all the animals that you want to see in the zoo and we will create a zoo together. So if you think that's a really good idea, comment down below and let me know and give the video a thumbs up so I know that you like it. Coming towards the end of this season, then I'll start taking suggestions for um, zoo animals so you guys let me know how many animals you think we should have should we have more of a smaller zoo or do we go for and try and build a big zoo just like we have here what kind of theme do you reckon we should have but yeah I'm thinking maybe you you will decide what animals we put in we've had a suggestion for the warthog and meerkat but because they are are of least concern their their status 
according to the wildlife wildlife people or the zoopedia their status is of least concern which means they're not endangered or anything like that um so it wouldn't necessarily seem specifically right to put them in our endangered zoo but we could put them in the next zoo and maybe that those two animals could be our starting animals for example and i know we've also had a suggestion for the white leopard i believe it was so maybe that could be our second animal or something like that so please do let me know if you think that that will be a really good idea and i will start making a list of all your suggestions okay so for the d hole then let's have a look okay so this is our d hole so you can pause to read if you like okay so 25 males and 13 females right okay they are confident with humans they have an alpha male and an alpha female and guests cannot enter the habitat but they do have two to six offsprings right okay um and they do like quite a lot of space i am thinking we don't go down the route of the bonobos or the lemurs because that is quite a lot of monkeys and i think we've realized that now so maybe we just go with maybe one male and three females maybe go back to our normal ratio that will be four and i think this they only mate with one female so then that will be let's say that female has six puppies yeah this much space okay so we'll go with one male and one female what do we do actually for these ones here the african wild dog or or i was told by um a lovely viewer that these are also called painted dogs which does make sense actually because they do look like they've been kind of painted or they've like rolled in paint <laughs> So how many animals do we have? Ah, okay, so this was three males and three females. Well, maybe because they have so much, or so, so many babies, because the African wild dogs, they only have one per mating event. So I'm wondering then, if we change it completely and we have two males and two females, so I'm thinking this one's not too bad. Maybe this one, because they're of similar genetics. Oh no, and now there's no females. Oh dear, okay, fine. This game doesn't like me today, does it? Maybe it's telling me I shouldn't be recording anything. <laughs> okay, fine. So let's put our two males then into the quarantine area. And we'll just have to keep coming back to check. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait for it to stop raining. And then I'm going to start building this habitat for the d holes And I will be back with you shortly.
Okay, everybody, we have now finished the D hole habitat. This is one of them. We currently only have two males at the moment, but I did manage to find two females in the in the trade center. So I have put them in the quarantine and hopefully they will be joining us soon. But let's go out and have a little look at the habitat. So this is their little inside area, which we've already seen plenty of times before. So I'm not gonna worry about showing you that. Um, this is their kind of little sheltered area over here along with some food enrichments as well. Oh god, everything's happening at the moment. Vet research is done. So this is the view from the ride that it's been around. Yeah, so they could have the guests can have quite a good look actually from over here anyway, which is really good. Not amazing, but a lot better than just looking out to nothing, pretty much. Okay, right, now that it's stopped raining. So the females have just joined the pack, which is really good um we have a few over here so here we are so until we have so again nice and big for them they do have a little kind of water area here where they can go swimming or just generally have a bit to drink lots of broken kind of trees in amongst everything and lots of enrichment as well so they have the little uh, tug of war rope i think it's called and then they have little enrichments for the zebra and they have their water and bubble fountains and then oh look they're using it they have a little splash pool as well <laughs> so they can splash around quite happily in there then we can come over here and i've just put in some little rocks and put some bedding on it they may not use it at all but i just thought maybe that might be a nice touch if they did actually sleep outside one day they could sleep on the hay instead of just the plain old rocks, which would be quite cute. Yeah, I really like these. And they, they love this, don't they? <laughs> Look at them. I think that's the best animation I've seen. <laughs> but they do have loads of space. So, I mean, there's nothing stopping us from adopting maybe another male and another female. I don't know, what do you think? Let me know in the comments section down below. So there isn't really much else to do this episode, so I think I'm going to call it a day and I'm going to go and rest my voice. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching everybody. Please leave any thoughts, comments and suggestions down in the comments section down below and I will catch you in the next one. Thank you so much. Bye bye.